Hey everybody, it's Green Machine 55 here, and welcome back. And um, as you can probably see from that tasty-looking uh, picture that you'll uh, see on the thumbnail, I'm basically making a chicken. Uh, gonna be doing some chicken here. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'll decide at the end of the product, as you probably saw in the picture later, but I think I'm going to do it as a burrito. I may, um, but, um, when I get the thumbnail made later, it'll either be in a burrito style or, uh, or it'll be a quesadilla, but we're doing a, um, our own kind of, uh, uh, chicken quesadilla, yeah, quesadilla or however you want to say it, uh, style food. I basically marinated the chicken tenderloins the same way I did for the Alfredo, as you well know. And we're doing a combination of JD's Fiesta Blend Cheese, which I think is already, I think, two or three types of cheese, and a mix of shredded pepper jack cheese as well. And we're going to add some pico de, uh, pico de, gala, uh, de gala, or however you say that, for a little veggie. We're doing taco rice pasta packet. Might add a little bit of buffalo ranch sauce for a little bit. And we're also doing some diced up Johnsonville jalapeno. Uh, jalapeno and cheddar sausage mixed into this so it's gonna be real it's gonna be nicely stuffed whether it's a mini burrito or a quesadilla so uh, uh, without further ado let's start getting our chicken going the pot warmed up for the already I'm already getting the pot warmed up so I can start the uh, start the um, uh, what you call it start my fiesta taco rice so we'll get to that in a moment I'm not really gonna bore you with this uh, all this cooking I'm going to uh, I'm gonna start the cooking We'll come back when I get uh, when I get a certain amount done, so I can show you what I've got done. Then we'll come back again when I get uh, everything done and show you putting it together. So uh, we'll be back in we'll be back in just a moment. Okie dokie, and we're back. And uh, if I had a better place to do this uh, view here, I would show you, but. As you can see, I got these little tortillas uh, to use. There, it's an eight, a uh, little eight pack of just you know, the, uh, tortilla uh, of tortillas. This would probably be, I think this is uh, second to your smallest size. These are nine ounce tortillas. I've decided that I will probably be making this a burrito. So, here's what I'm doing. I'm going to take a pinch of cheese first. Uh, yeah. I'm going to take a nice good little pinch of cheese. start off with. I'm gonna take my mess of meat and rice and get a little uh, dish of it. And I don't want to stuff it too much if we if we're gonna make it a burrito and not a and not a quesadilla. There we go. Uh, oop, I forgot 
got my spoon for the. I'm gonna put a little. Take a little veggie as well. Not a whole lot of veggie. Might reuse this veg, uh, veggies for something else here too. What I don't use for this recipe today. That ought to be enough. Add some more cheese. Actually, no. Put a little bit of this sauce on it. Good pinch of cheese over top again. And I think I stuffed it too much. I might have to make this one a quesadilla. Yep, I put a little too much. This one's gonna have to be a quesadilla. <laughs> Whoops! Okay. I still need, a oh crap, I need a hot pot or something. Since we're gonna be making it as a quesadilla, I'm gonna need a pot to uh, melt it. Let's put a little, a bit more cheese on here since we're gonna be making this, since we're gonna end up turning this into a quesadilla instead. There we go. Uh, this pot should still be hot. Hope uh, pan. A little more spray. Give it a moment. Um, I'll be back with you with a picture of this in a moment. So, uh, we'll be back in a moment, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Okay, and we're back. Uh, <laughs> that backfired on me because originally I thought of. Uh, uh, Turns out I was going to make that a mini burrito, but instead, I turned it into a quesadilla. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Let's, uh, flip this sucker around. Let's give this a shot taste test, shall we? Or is it too warm from doing the cheesiness? Mm. Mm. Still good though. It'll be a little better if I leave that as a, put a little less of everything together and make that a burrito instead. But, um, it's up to you guys. In fact, you can do this as an even bigger burrito instead of instead of making the mistake I made where I put a little too much on it and I ended up having to make a quesadilla out of it instead. But it's my twist on a quesadilla, on a chicken quesadilla. Um, same uh, same uh, sauce that I did to the chicken before. Uh, some of that um, uh, that Mexican brand hot sauce. With, uh, with a pinch of salt, pepper, uh, Italian seasoning, oregano uh, for like a day or two uh, and then grill it on, and then grill it on the uh, stove top with a skillet. Um, I took a package of uh, well not a whole package I used uh, I used three uh, Johnsonville cheddar and jalapeno sausage. I cooked them in the microwave, chopped them up, and threw them in. A package of the taco seasoned rice. Uh, I just followed the directions, which in this case was a couple of cups of water and the package to a boil. You have an option of putting butter or a little, I think it was canola oil was the option, it was an optional to the, uh, for it, but I think it's fine without adding that to it. Then, then cu stir, cover, simmer for uh, for seven minutes, or until it's cooked through. Then put it aside. We'll, uh, cut up your chicken. Put uh, put your chicken in. 
cut up uh, your uh, Johnsonville uh, sausage and throw it in. Uh, mix it all up and then take your tortilla, take your blend of pepper jack and fiesta cheese or whatever kind of cheese you want to put on it as long as it melts uh, well for a quesadilla or burrito and sprinkle some on your tortilla put a little bit of your uh, rice and meat combo on top put a, uh, put a little bit of pica de gala on it uh, or you could just get or you could just do fresh diced green to uh, diced tomatoes uh, some onion and chili you know it's up to you if you want to add that veggie to it or not add a little bit of ranch of that buffalo ranch on it put uh, put a nice good bit of cheese back on it wrap it up as a burrito unless you made a mistake like me put a little too much and had to make a quesadilla out of it instead so put another tortilla over it uh, and I didn't actually put it on the stove. What I did was I left it on the plate. I stuck it in the microwave for nearly almost half of, uh, for like 30 minutes or so till the cheese melted and uh, around it. And then I start eating. So, but um, that's it for now. I'll leave a, uh, if you're new to this channel, uh, uh, you can uh, hit like, hit that subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit that bell uh, so you do not miss out on any of my videos. I wish I did not have to bring that up, but unfortunately they want us to do that now. Uh, otherwise, you might miss out on a video. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!